Hey, in this video, let's go ahead and take a look at something in Maya called Duplicate with Transform. So for this example, what I would like to do is I'm going to grab a box and just drag a box um, on my grid. I'm then going to hold down the X key and just make sure that I snap the uh, pivot, the center of the box to the center of the grid. I'm going to move this over. And now what I would like to do is hold down the G key and hold down the X key and move the pivot back to the center. All right. Now, if you press down um, Control D or Command D if you're in the Mac, you can see in the outline our second one was created. If you hold down the J key a, um, and go into rotation, if you hold down the J key, you can see that the step snap is being activated and deactivated. So just hold it down and set your uh, snapping to maybe 5% or five units. And let's go ahead and just move this over. Maybe something like that. Now, if you hold down the Shift D, that will duplicate with transforms, meaning this guy will be duplicated going around the circle. So that's exactly what I want. That's really cool. All right, so let's keep playing with this duplicate with transform. So now uh, what I could do is I can select all these cubes grab my uh, move tool and I can press command D or control D move this up something like this and now I can hold on the shift D and just making make a lot more copies of this guy so think about this as like a building structure or some kind of a sci-fi structure of any kind now what I could do is I can select all of these cubes of course I can if I wanted to combine them into one I can clear my history make sure there's only one I can center my pivot then I can do something fun I can go to modeling deform I can go to nonlinear and we can bend it we can flare it twist it let's go ahead and flare it so I'm gonna uh, go to flare and in my attribute editor let's go ahead and change the start uh, of X and Z to maybe something like four and four and very quickly you can create really amazing looking uh, shapes uh, with simple geometry that are symmetrical and really cool let's go ahead just for fun um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all of this and i'm going to clear my history when i clear my history you can see that the first deformer the flare deformer was sort of baked into the mesh right so now i'm uh, again in the outliner just left with one object now let's do this again. I'm going to go to Deformer, Nonlinear. Let's go ahead and do a twist. And I would like to twist this. And again, I'm going to clear my history to kind of select both of these, um, the Deformer and the Mesh. And let's go ahead and clear the history. And you can see how very quickly we created something really, really interesting. I can turn on my ambient occlusion to get a little shadows in there. And there it is. All right. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one and happy modeling.